Yes, let's not touch the table. <laughs> <laughs> if we do this, what's happening with my new kid? Even today, my morning. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, welcome everybody to this unboxing. We got a very special package in from Source Korea. Um, in this package is only one single gun that is worth a thousand seven hundred fifty US dollars. Whoa, 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 whoa. When we did the first take, I was like, wow, okay. what really? Thousand seven hundred. I'm gonna prove it. A thousand seven hundred fifty, oh. and it's even out of stock. I've never seen it on the field. Uh, they're quite unique. They're very rare. And yeah, let's just open it. It has actually been resting in the office for uh, two months. We're going to China very soon, so now we have to get a lot of videos done. It's time Should to open, we it. open it. Like no, no, it's it's, no? it's a thousand seven hundred fifty. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> it's something new. It's not like another M4. Well, it is an M4, but. They even put the effort in it. Yeah. GDR15 Max 5. We have 5 yes. Max. 5 Max, that's great. So I'm gonna be playing with the gun. So that's one problem solved, I guess. Yes. Is it the right way around? That's it. Oh, that right. Okay, there we go. Uh, that GBLS DASM4 built in South Korea. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the only airsoft replica. <laughs> What's that even? That's Mate. Keeps you awake. It's great. It's better than coffee. It's stronger. Strong, yeah. Okay, the only gun that's coming from, or the only airsoft gun I know about that's coming from South Korea. Oh, what is this? <laughs> that's a that's a long Allen key. That's the longest Allen key I've that's, ever seen. That's not a good sign. No, pop up adjusting is gonna. I be hate it. I hate the WE416 for this this particular reason. You need a huge as Allen key. Ooh. It's it's really this. Ta <laughs> I think he's like as long as the gun. That's how it looks like. That's how you're receiving it. Uh, PTS stock on it. So it seems to be a cooperation between PTS mm -hmm. and uh, GBLS. Here you have a different nozzle sizes. I believe that's for Is reducing the FPS. I, I have no idea. I think. It looks like GBBR stuff, so yeah. sort of similar. So this is not your normal AG. It has the realism of a, of a gas blower gun, but the reliability, or at least that's what they're trying to achieve, the reliability of an AG. So there is a battery, there is no gas inside. Exactly. But it still has recoil and all the controls of a refire. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, let's see about that. Wow, look at this. That's a GBBR bolt. It looks like GBBR but bolt. But it has this... Real steel bolt with spring inside and But key. it actually has the it has the rack on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's for moving the bolt. And then I think when it goes back, it catches here the piston and stays back, goes forward and then it fires actually. Yeah. Okay, I shot this thing once at a trade fair and it's a mechanical trigger, which means instant trigger response. It's not like an AG where you pull it then, you know, it has to bring the piston back all the way and then to the front again. It's kind of like a bolt action sniper rifle when a bolt gets pulled back yeah. by a motor. So the wheels, the gears are actually operating the cylinder because this can be seen as the cylinder of an AG. So it moves the cylinder back, you go forward and then the piston stays back and when you pull the trigger it fires forward into the cylinder. Maybe they've done something awesome. Okay, let's just put it together. Well, the fitment seems pretty good. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, Rich branded it. <laughs> cool. I have been using this at a have been using it. I was finger banging it at a trade fair. So really it's finger banging it. <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go. I tried it and you could actually wreck it. Like you compress the spring. Oh, Ooh, so it's a springer pistol. No, a springer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What yeah, happened? Now you can shoot. The cylinder went forward. Let's see. Uh, safety. Yeah. Safety, everybody. Nice. There is actually people on my channel complaining about his safety <laughs> stuff. So we decided to take it seriously today. Mm. <laughs> okay, now let's. Let's do it. These are ballistic glasses. Yes. No, these are ballistic glasses. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Uh, Joseph already is wearing ballistic and optic yes. glasses. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Sounds like SSG or a sniper rifle. Right? Yeah, it does. So you... Man. <laughs> I already know what I'm gonna do in the video. <laughs> yes. Okay, oh, seriously? Like... Oh. No, I can. That's not an easy one. It's not like sweet, real, like chapa, chak. 
It's tough. There is there it's is gonna tough. be this one guy who says you should have glasses on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, some people were complaining about the trigger pull of this gun, but okay, that's the way to do it. But I think it's fine. I wanna feel the reset. If there is any. Oh, the reset is just. <sighs> It's mushroom. Oh. Only you would complain about something like this. <laughs> okay, let's focus on what's important. Let's grab a mag and just, you know, let's see yeah, magazines. We need a battery as well. So there is a magazine, safety goggles on. So this magazine is not your standard magazine. It looks completely different. So it's proprietary. I would say it's a mixture of a gas magazine and low cap AG magazine. I like how all the magazines are packed. It's not super heavy, but it's also not flimsy as Stanek magazines. Let's pull it on safety. Man, I like the Dean plug. Oh, I like it's, how uh, it's like reinforced and it has little tabs on it so you can grab it better. You pay 1750 and there's a proper plug on there. Put it in there. Alright, so if it's like a real AR and I add to the chamber, I can fire one, I think. So that's not realistic right now. And it cycles. Okay, now it's not shooting. But anyways, um... BBs. 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 Uh, yeah. And no speed loader. I'm gonna load it like a real firearm. With my hands. Because it's realistic, right? <laughs> Man. There is actually a loading thing here. Okay, anyways, now we have BBs in there. Now we're gonna see if it shoots. Here in the back we can see uh, the little tab that stops it from firing once the mag is empty. So we bring in the magazine, we pull back the bolt, and now we should be able to fire. Is it shooting? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Cool. Empty. Okay, you take out the mag. You grab a new one that you just refills. With like it's three BBs. So the bolt now uh, locks back, just like on the real one. You smack in the mag. You press the bolt release and now you it should, should be, be able to fire again. That's, it does. that's cool. And, and it locks back. If I now uh, press the bolt release here, the bolt closes. And then the sound is nice. How does the recoil feel? Is it like, can you feel it actually or? Mm. It's not like a GBB, but I guess it's alright. Okay, now I can shoot. You shouldn't be able to shoot. Shoot or you shoot, right? You broke it already? No, it looks bad. Now that we shot it, let's read the manual. Actually, it should be the other way around, but... We are dudes, so we don't do it, really. Yeah, I guess. We Where's should. the manual? Oh, you already <laughs> threw it away. Okay, now I'm gonna try. Safety. Safety. It's like 40% GBBR, I would say. That is you can easy. hear the, the gears just trying too hard. That's strange, right? Did it look bad? Yes, it did. Did it look bad? Looks like it's working just like it's supposed to work. It's way harder to fill the magazines than a real steel gun. <laughs> okay, let's... That feels nice. That feels... Yeah, yeah. the bolt closing nice. is... Okay. New mag goes in. Yeah. The clicking is kind of strange in the end. Yeah, yeah, but at least you know it's empty. Uh, I mean, yeah. I can feel myself enjoying this. I can already see people chopping off their finger caps. What's oh. in here? <laughs> they press Let's it. push the button. Yes. <laughs> ah! Can you lock it back? Sure. Yes, okay. Let's try again. Ah, oh, now it works. Now it works. Interesting. So sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't get it. We are <laughs> just doing something wrong. Maybe. I think. Okay, let's try full auto on this gun. <laughs> let's bring speed letter. We need to get a pair of sights. 
Sure. No, it's only 1700. You don't get to get sides. So, Floro. It is moving quite a lot, huh? In full auto, yes. Definitely. Oh, nice. Not bad. Not bad. I guess. That's actually way better than a semi. And the rate of fire is, I mean, realistic, I guess. What's the rate of fire on an AR-15? 700? Yeah. I think they usually get 13 rounds per second. But yeah, that's the part, right? Bam! And it's loud. It's loud, yeah. It's loud. Let's compare. We have a GBBR here. Okay. Let's compare. Let's compare. Yeah, it's a bit different. Yeah. It's, it, it's slower. It's slower. It's slower, yeah. This is just instant. Okay, try, try to fire as fast as you can. Yeah, the trigger pull is definitely hard. But Maybe it's just me. Let's let's. Switch. You just need to get used to the feeling. Yeah, I mean, I this is not my gun. That's Jordi's gun, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is obviously new to both of us. Okay, so that, that's about maximum. We're well, way faster with this it's thing. Faster. Way faster than me, actually. And the finger is getting tired. <laughs> Already? I need to train more. Yes. Maybe it's a... <laughs> yeah, full auto, you know? There's always full auto. Which I'm not using, so... But maybe I make an exception hmm. with this thing. It's cool! Is it, is it safe when you take out the mag? Oh... It should be one. And now no. you can shoot, right? You can actually shoot. So you can take out the mag and you can still have one in the chamber. Yeah. Oh yeah, it shoots. It actually... Yeah, it's like a real one. Yeah. What about now? If we put the magazine in, yeah, and we don't wreck the bolt, I think what happens? I think it doesn't. Work. Yeah. Yeah. So nothing. I That's mean, not realistic. Not nothing. Not nothing. It's, oh, there is no. It's like no the bolt, but it, no, there's no BB coming out. Yeah. There the was first no round, there was no BB. So yeah. that's not realistic. No. no. Realistic. No. The the gun wouldn't fire. Well, without yeah, one in the, the gun wouldn't cycle. Yeah. But it, but it also would. didn't fire. It didn't fire. Well, yeah, but you didn't have to wreck the bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fair so that's uh, the only yeah. unrealistic thing apart from being an AG and shooting BB. Yeah. So for training purposes, I guess it's closer than an AG, but it's still not 100% there. But it's cool, it's closer to a GBBR than I would expect. The GBBR is also flawless, it's also not 100% realistic. Like you can empty it without a BB and it still wrecks. Yes. Like an empty mag, true, you yes. rack back, you shoot, and it cycles, yeah. and locks back, and then we don't It's not it. perfect. You can do everything with it, especially yeah. malfunctions. It's good. I mean, you can definitely use it. I mean, you can also use AGs for the real training. steel, dry fire training, let's call it yeah. this way. But this is definitely a step closer. Well, the thing is, there's no, no competition to it. Like, if you want this system... See, that's all the reason. Mm. I don't like this. So try empty magazine and rack it. Ah, how it works. So there must be something pushing from the bottom. <laughs> okay, no, 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 just done it. Okay, sounds worth it. Just. Ah, there we go. Okay, now it's safe. Is it worth a thousand seven hundred fifty US dollars? I guess if you want this system, there's no way around it. Like that's your only. Oh no, actually, there's another brand. I think. Is it? There's another brand that makes this. Yeah, wait, let me check. The grip is getting warmer, but the build quality, I mean, solid. Stock's moving a little bit, but it's also the same with rear steel. Sometimes it's moving as well. How much battery space do we have? Oh, it's a big stock. Oh, it's yeah. It's the PTS one. Yeah. We have QD attachment here, QD here on both sides. Okay, AAF, American Airlift Factory. And four. Let's see how much that is. I think it's the same system. It's 1450. It's actually cheaper. Type of battery recommended 11.1, 25 to 50 coulombs. It's a lot of power right there. Mm -hmm. And it's recommended. But, anyways, um, there's two, I think only two companies right now that are making it. 
um, this GBLS, this American Airsoft Factory. All those types of guns are in this price range right now. And when you look at the gun, it's quite clear why it is like this. Um, it feels really premium, it, it feels good. I would say on the outside it feels quite similar to high tier AG. Oh, we have the bolt in the back. Uh, we need to open it. <laughs> That's an interesting part. Okay. okay, ping pong button. Okay, there we go. So, I shot. It shot, yeah? Yeah, of Good that there was no BB. Of course, because you bring it away from the... Yeah, it's not... Well, it's from my so basically, I wreck it. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now if I open the gun... Well, I basically first have to shoot it. So how do you actually disassemble it without shooting? Okay, I think I know. Unplugging battery. You disconnect the battery. You now fire. You shoot. And now it stays. And now it stays there. And now it's probably all in the manual. We just released it a bit. There we go. Yeah, okay. okay, so when we, <laughs> when we look on the inside now, it's very clear why this gun is so expensive. All of those parts in here, or at least from what I can see, they're all machined. You know, this is like premium, premium, premium uh, in terms of manufacturing. Performance wise, I've heard mixed reviews about them. Some people say they shoot horribly. Some people say they can shoot just like an AG. Uh, Chosen's gonna find out the next few days. Nothing? Come on. We have a situation here, Chris. <laughs> Tell Stop. me, tell me what happened. So, it stopped firing. A uh, fuse burnt down. I mean, it's not the biggest deal. It's not like the gun broke. Good thing is, I have my toolbox. The products are just, are just not there. There's always flaws. Uh, once the gameplay is out, I'm gonna link it down in the description. Yeah. But let's have a closer look at how all of this is built. Look at it, it's all seen. Yeah, it. when it's I touched so it the first time, I was like, dang. And the finish is pretty nice. Man, even this CNC. I've never seen on a stock gun a CNC machine charging handle. That's, I think this is actually from a real steel gun because you have the, uh, the hole here, which you don't need in this case. Well, to try, you also don't need the, the locking mechanism of the ball, but you still have it. I think they just try to make it as realistic as possible. Yeah. Here, here you see the nozzle. I think here we can actually regulate the FPS with these things. How do we actually adjust the hole on this gun? I hope it's not like the WE416. I think it is. I swear, yeah. it's this key. It's this key. Ah, it's down on the bottom of the chamber. So it's like the 416 with the difference that it's not above the chamber, it's below the chamber. And you know why? Everything is because of these locking points. If you would get rid of these, you could do the adjustment just with your finger. But since they want it as realistic as possible, you are stuck with these things, just like WE416 or any AR-15 style gun. Okay, you know what? Let's make a hop-up adjustment competition. <laughs> you can will, adjust the hop-up. You will use this thing, you will use this thing. Ah, yeah, and sure. I'm gonna use an AG. We're just gonna assume that we're shooting, we want to adjust the hop-up, and I'm gonna do that, and you don't. Okay, gonna have this in we're gonna have the time. Tactical pouch to simulate having it somewhere and not losing it. Okay. Okay, we're at the field, we fire, I do three, two, one, and then we adjust the hopper, okay? Ready? Okay. Bam, 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 hop adjustment. Bam, bam, bam. Done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring my. Okay, I'm still in the fire fight. Yeah. I'm, I'm defending my body, I'm like, oh, get back, get your gun back up, man! <laughs> okay. From this, am I there yet? Okay, I'm adjusting. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, 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 you have to put it back in. Ah, oh, come on. It's already too hard. Done. Dang. What about the map? What about wrecking the gun because it's shot? Yeah. <laughs> oh, say Fuck. Yeah. Okay. You back. Ah, there's the magazine. <laughs> <It's empty. laughs> yeah, uh, I need more practice. I don't. Let's try one more time. <laughs> no, it's good. Okay, no. Okay, so a hop of adjustment in the field. Man, I'm looking forward to the gameplay. You could TDC this thing. You could just drill it and just... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's just drill that $1,750 gun. 
Damn, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yes. You know, who knows, maybe the, the hop on this gun is magical and you never have to adjust it. General conclusion, I think it's a very cool and unique gun. We can't say anything yet about reliability. I've heard mixed reviews, some say it's bad, some say it's good. Build quality, I think you couldn't build it any better. I wouldn't switch my GBBR in terms of realism. Your GBBR? I don't have a Which GBBR. one is it? I don't have a GBBR, but I think a GBBR is superior in realism to this one. But just slightly, like it's not much. When we were shooting that one, yeah. I was actually uh, warming up the magazine so that it continues to shoot. Because uh -huh. when you are shooting faster, you have the cool down effect. Yeah, true. This, no, cool. no problem. No problem at all. So you have this trade-off between gas powered rifle and all its flaws versus AG and all its flaws. So far I'm surprised and I'm looking forward to playing with an AG again after what, two years? Okay, then we're gonna end this video right here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks to GVLS for sending in this M4 because again, it's 1,750 bucks. Uh, plus no, shipping. Plus shipping <laughs> from South Korea. So thanks, you know, for providing the gun. Thanks Joseph for joining. If you wanna check out Joseph's channel, you will also find it linked in the description. And then we're gonna see you guys on the next video. Thanks for having me. See ya guys. Deep to black.